Hey guys, Ravi here. I'm back with another video. You may notice something strange. Why is the camera moving on its own? And why is my audio pretty shit? I thought maybe it might be cool if I did a sort of setup tour. And I believe it has been more than almost four years. And this is going to be the fourth year since I made that video. Basically, at that time I had like a very crappy Pentium G640. Now, by all means, I'm not here to show off. I'm just here to share what it's like. You know, I, I've been there. We've all, we've all been there at one point where you just didn't have the best and you did what you can with what you had. I didn't go out and pick up like a MacBook Pro or an iMac and I said, cool. We're going to start a YouTube channel. No, no, I didn't do that. But now here I am with a fully updated setup tour. And it's a bit of a weird setup I got going on, but it's going to change. It's, it's always changing, you know, um, as a content creator and the amount of support you guys have been showing in the last couple of videos. It's been crazy, you know, it's been a mad one and I'm just happy and glad to be back at it. And I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And once again, this won't have been possible without all of your support and you guys being the drive for me to improve my content, to be better. Now I'm gonna to change to the front camera, which is a step up in quality. So yeah, I'll see you there. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, my setup fully lit up. That's how you are able to see me in the last video. That was a new addition. I will link the guy's Instagram down. He's the one who even supplied me the LED strips. So as you can see, I don't have any special fancy desk. It's just an old study desk I had. I don't even have a fancy chair. It's just a normal ass chair. Uh, let me first get off how I record. So as you can see, I use a Hike Vision DS-U12. Not the most um, encouraging name, but it's a very good uh, webcam. It's what I normally use to stream my videos, you know, do live streams with. That's my lighting setup. And they're just two ring lights I bought from separate places. I will, once again, link my friend who provided me with this very good quality, almost similar to my uh, first lighting setup kind of thing. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, it's USB powered, has this weird remote over here. At first, it was that ring light over here where this new ring light is. How do I record my mic, you know, like my audio, my voice? I didn't get separate parts. This is all, that's what, this is what came with the um, package and it came with a small desk, desk, you know, stand even. This is the Maono AU, let me focus on that, 04. It doesn't really require much editing for voice. That's how clean it is. But I do edit a bit here and there because as you may know, I'm human, I tend to make mistakes, uh, you know, I tend to, of course, uh, mumble. We already mentioned the mic, uh, let's get to the speaker. I am using what is called a Logitech Z506. <laughs> it is a pretty good uh, speaker setup. It's actually like six speakers. It's a pretty good setup, you know, the speaker setup, very loud, punchy. I like using it to listen to music and that's pretty much what I go with at times. I also have my headphones. Of course I have to game with good set of headphones. I used to have like really crappy headphones. These were the headphones I used, especially when I got this setup first. These have served me so well. Active noise cancelling, pretty good. But now you can see the condition. It's so mangled up. These are the current headphones I'm running now. These are called the Razer Tiamat V2s. Fancy RGB, which I usually don't have showing because you can cover these with the magnetic clips you can see on the each side is like a like a magnet they're very good they're very punchy especially for fps's they're very clean of course it's on a cheap amazon like five dollar ish uh, headphone stand comes with this very nice amp over here i'll just bring it off for you guys so this amp over here um it allows you to control each uh driver in the headset cup so you can see i can change it to like if it focuses you see, I can change things around. I can even adjust the, you know, microphone volume, the subwoofer volume. I want to cut it down or not. Physical knob, which I actually like. It's pretty cool. Push the mute. There's that. Even on the side when I edit, uh, like I said, I don't use my speakers. They're pretty loud. This is basically the OnePlus Buds Z. I just have them sitting in this uh, silicon case. Very punchy for a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. And that brings me to the next part my keyboard and mouse all right so over here uh i had this recently i recently got this uh 
last year in September. I'm gonna say recently. This is very recent though. This is the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed. It's a wireless mouse. Pretty good. Helps me out a lot. My keyboard. And I'm trying to keep it far away because if I zoom in, you can already see how dirty the wrist dress is from far. We have the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition. It's the first generation. It's it's amazing. And the switches feel very very good it's 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 tactile it's fast and i enjoy it so I, I don't see myself buying a new keyboard anytime soon now that we got much of the peripherals out of the way i want to get into the monitors now this this is not helping me get better at games this is the LG 24G 600F. It's a gaming monitor, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time. I got this the start of the year. Absolutely madness, especially when I play like Formula One. Also, you know, lawn mowing simulator, link in the description, or you select the card up here. Also, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, yeah, we're very close to 400. And it's pretty mad that we got this far. And on my second side, we have the Dell SE 2419H. One thing I'd like to say to Dell, they make very nice budget 24 inch monitors. I just wish they kept uh, monitor mounting, but they sacrificed it for a slimmer profile. Like I said, this might as well just be my first and last game monitor, never again. So that's just for my LD strips, this one. Is a special one and that's for my pc which i will get to right now over here we have my pc bread and butter like i said in the cleanup vlog my everything nothing would be possible without this this is a custom built pc the newer components for those eagle-eyed viewers is the case of course and of course the thing in here which is liquid cooling it's a radiator, it's pretty good. So it's still running the same things, Ryzen 5 2600, RTX 2060, 32 gigs of RAM, a 500 GB M.2 SSD for booting. I also have a three terabyte hard drive, which is about to be full. This is the best thing that has ever happened to me, especially if for those who don't know, I'm a software engineering and multimedia student. So I do need the horsepower. I was gonna say firepower. Is it right to say firepower? Uh, to be able to do things like, um, of course, a Photoshop, Premiere Pro, animate at times, uh, the occasional programming. Yeah, but, this has been my PC since 2019-ish. I think it's gonna stay with me. None of this would have been possible without your support. And I mean it, of course, not monetary wise, more of like you guys have given me that motivation to continue working towards what I am doing. This channel has taught me so much, like being more outgoing. I'm having the best times right now. Also, I was on the radio, that's mad. You know like how you have like, a list of things you wish to achieve before you know you're done with your teens basically you know i'm not getting any younger i'm turning 20 next year which is mad being on the radio it's like the be all end all for those who don't know i'm a student brand ambassador of my university i'm being given new opportunities thanks to the steps i've taken to become a better person and i'm thankful for that i'm thankful for you guys i'm thankful for everything yeah just thank you guys once again have a good friday have a good weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Creative Spark Reinvention is proudly brought to you by Limco Queen University of Creative Technology. Be the most sought after graduate. Be a proud Limco Queen graduate. It's 3.47 on a Wednesday afternoon live on the Arne FM of the music. Welcome back to the last segment of Creative Spark Season 7, The Reinvention. Now, earlier we were speaking to Miss Lena from the Finance Department and we're now excited to be joined by a current student from the university. And on the line we have Ravinda Singh who is a private student from the Faculty of Information and Communication Technology. Ravinda, welcome to the show. Please kindly introduce yourself to the Shada and give us a brief uh, a synopsis about your stay and experience at Lim Kong Queen University as a private student. Hello, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ravinder Singh. I am a student brand ambassador. I am currently pursuing Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering with Multimedia. Hmm. My experience so far has been enlightening and great. Uh, I couldn't have asked for anything better here. Mm. And 
tell us something. How did you learn about uh, the discount that the university offers and what steps did you take to enroll for your studies? Uh, yes, I first initially saw that they were offering scholarships to private students on the newspaper. Mm-hmm. And I was also uh, introduced to the head of faculty for ICT. And he was kind enough to help me out, select the best course, which matched my ambitions and my vision, where I wanted to see myself a few years from now. Yeah. And from there, I was encouraged to take it. I applied for a scholarship and thankfully I got it. That's what's up. And what message do you have for the university in regards to the self-sponsored student scholarship initiative? To the university, I'd like to say thank you because because of this program, uh, being able to have access to such high standard education is great, but for them to also see the potential in students well before that and, and award them equally, it's just the best you know, it's the best thing you could ask for. Yeah. And lastly, Ravenda, is there anything you would like to say to students who don't qualify for government scholarship, but they wish to enroll as private students? Yes. Do not be discouraged, guys. When one door closes, another opens. Limco Kling offers world-class education at affordable cost. If you are confident with your end of uh, high school exam marks, just take it. Apply for the scholarship. You can also pursue for a discount. They're always offering financial plans, like Miss Lena had said. Yeah. And I'm sure you will find your spot to be the best and be a Limco Coin graduate. Nice. Such thoughtful words indeed. And a big thank you to you, Ravenda, for making time to share with us your story, your experience as being a student at Limco Coin. We wish you all the best and we are sure that you will shine even brighter after graduating. It's so good for students to share their experiences mm. with us for the benefit of those who want to apply at Botswana only University of Transformation. Have yourself a great week and shine. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers.